um, joining you very much as a friend, but also as somebody who has had the privilege of working alongside and with IDLO in um, previous capacities and certainly continue to do so as head of the United Nations Development Program today. And um, particularly pleased to join you on this occasion because with your new strategic plan, uh, Jan, you and um, all those who count themselves in the constituency of the idea of IDLO, I think see both the urgency and the perspective with which um, the rule of law and justice and access to justice, people's access to justice, um, is by no means something that we should take either for granted or even that we're always progressing. We are witnessing in our global family of nations and communities, not only COVID-19 with all its um, multidimensional implications, um, health, social, economic, but also in the domain of governance and the rule of law and fundamental rights. The reality that in many of our societies, the rule of law and people's access to justice rights-based approaches to development, the fundamental um, enshrinement of human rights in not just the constitutional dimension of law, but in the practice and in the reality of justice systems is something that we continue to be concerned about because on the one hand, there are still too many for whom access to justice remains a hypothetical possibility. Uh, it might have to do with your economic status, um, with poverty, it might have to do with restrictions that you face. And I think one of the things that I appreciate very much in your strategic plan and also in our justice partners configuration where we together with UNODC, Pathfinders and others work together is that we recognize that in many countries, it's not just a return to something, it is the further evolution of the understanding of justice, of law, the rule of law and that is the most meaningful part of realizing the rule of law, access to it.